Hi, it's good to see you again. Great to start the weekend with Detroit. I always start my weekends with Detroit at this point. Because <laughs> we always play it on Fridays. She didn't really ask us anything invasive this time. I almost miss it a little bit. I quite enjoy this punk rock music that you listen to, Detective. Alright. This is where it gets good. Let's go, Hank and Connor. Right? Right? My boys! These are the two characters I probably care the most about. Um, and that's... That's a... Reasoning aside... You know? Oh, we can't go this way? Okay. Let me know how the audio is if it's like too quiet or too loud. I can always change it. Detective, it appears that you are loathing on a pinch. May I join you? I am not aware of the feeling of loathing, but I would like to learn. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what, detective? Uh, mm, before. There we go. Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Sounds good to you. Hell yeah. Thank you, Easy. Mm, personal question. I'm not going to beg him to stop Can drinking. I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Unfortunately, it's just me. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger so I kill myself a little every day that's Sad. probably difficult for you to understand huh Connor nothing very rational about it that kind of stuff is so impactful though like you know loss is one of the heaviest burdens that you can really have especially if uh you're no stranger to alcohol it can get real bad the deviants have nothing in common they're all different models produced at different times in different places? Well, there must be some link. All right, all right. Let's talk with him about RA9. In common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. I kind of figured RA9 was like an error code. The game might be a little quiet. Okay. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. Okay, there. I left it alone. To be together. Let me know how that is. They really seem I was trying to get to a specific number and it wouldn't get there. Love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Okay, that sounds more sexual. Your partner? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. A friend, or a partner, a lover. Designed to accomplish a task. I am programmed to do it all. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Well, 
But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. Oh, and have damn it. consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Oh, we got an unlocked path. Nice. Get drunker. I Maybe I should have told him to stop drinking. I was like, I know it's the same bottle, but like now he's drinking with intent to be drunk, and he's just gonna take it too far. Really, I think I gotta get that from him. Okay, so Hank leaving us alone is one of the ends, and the other one, I guess, is just us leaving with him. Oh, I forgot to check the world percentages. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna schmooze the receptionist, get access to the fourth floor, and commit some light domestic okay. terrorism, it seems. I'm okay, thanks. Wait, shit, what'd she say? Oh, shit, did she tell me I couldn't go through? Hang on. Come on. What? There's an arrow. Do I talk to you then? Do you let me through? Oh, oh, here we go. The computer. Speaking. Good morning, Miss 
sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. That's right. Successfully impersonated Mike from the car park. Shit. So, but like, but like, why did I do that though? Do I just jump over this? Give it the old wahoo. Uh, can I, can I go through? Hey, we can't go in after anybody. Oh, here we go. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Did we... Did we do something? Did we do something there? Cause like her little LED flashed yellow and then red, so we might have done something where we like maybe we got like a like a virus or something, and it's like contagious. You need to distract the human at the desk. Yeah, I uh, I was wondering why for a moment there, just because like the thing said it was green, like it's like oh go on ahead, and I was like all right, well I'll do that then. All right, where's the men's bathroom? Okay, so we're there. We need to go away from the cafeteria and it's against the wall. So I assume it's this, one. nope, that's the cafeteria. Can you piss? You can piss in this game? Probably not. We should try though at some point. Because, like, it won't let me hear. But this can't be the only time we're in a bathroom in this game. Can we go back in? Achieve piss? What is this? Oh, hey, buddy. Find utility android. I mean, is it this? No, I mean, it's definitely gonna be like a person, but what is this? What's it say? It's just cleaning. Cleaning in progress, floor slippery when wet. All right. 
Oh, here we go. Find utility android. Oh. I think we have a hit. Robots can piss. Well, I feel like it's just more so like an oil change, really, not like piss. Oh, that's funny. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me see if closed captioning can actually catch this. Piss. Pace. It just says pace every time. Why does it say pace? Ah, uh, yes, you know, whenever you go to the bathroom, you take a pace. No, I'm pretty sure I can say, I think I can say fuck. Yeah, yeah, it says fuck. No, hang on, let me, maybe it's the accent. Piss. Oh, it said it. Oh my God, it said it. <laughs> I, I'm just too Southern for piss. Oh, okay, of course it works now. Of course, now that, now that I pointed out, it works. Okay, I'm, I'm meandering i gotta figure out how to get into that room so we saw the utility guy he's he's in like the library right there right yeah right there so it's not a library just newsroom too oh hello fellow maintenance android i need your help What? Are, are they in on it? This is working way too good. Also, if we're dressed up as maintenance personnel, uh, we should definitely just have permission to take this cart. Open fire escape. Shit, I saw that. I don't remember which way it was though, so we'll just walk until we find it. Oh, I think, is that it? No, that's a server room. Also, are we sure this is a good idea? Opening the fire escape? Wouldn't that like cause an alarm to go off? just okay yeah there is okay so there is subtitles i just didn't realize i was like do i have those on all right hey guys hey hey guys nothing nothing at all Hello? Attract guards away from- wait. 
There's something over there. Oh no, are we gonna break the cleaning bot? Platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Just like in the movies. Here it comes. Ladies first. You know, it just occurred to me, I gotta talk to Glob. We're supposed to play Roblox for the first time tomorrow, and I gotta figure out when we're gonna do that. Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. 
What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What? Oh, I don't give a shit. She's too bloodthirsty if that's what she wants to do. You must be lost. Who told you to come? What are you doing? Okay, I wasn't expecting us to pull out a gun, honestly. When it said ruse, I didn't think the ruse was was at gunpoint. You ever you ever been armed? Not armed, fuck. You ever been robbed at gunpoint and then you're just like, what a ruse? Gonna remember this the next time my friends are pointing guns at me in siege. Ah, uh, yes, the old gun ruse. <laughs> a, s a silly prank for you, give me your money. <laughs> True. Uh, alright, alright, you ready? We're about to ruse these bitches. Yes. Get up, move. The, uh, you should have seen this, you fool. You should have seen this coming. He was gonna hit the alarm, we though. Our message. We haven't got much time. Oh wait, where is it though? There we go. All right, that's it. We riddled him with the ruse. Be carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Oh, so he stays anonymous. I didn't get that at first. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. The problem is that sentencing would be a little bit fucked for that. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. I think I did pretty good. You gotta start calm, but then go swift into the point. Be demanding, but also not mean. Just seeing your face, I got you so. 
<laughs> you thought we were gonna shoot you, but it was a ruse. No, the ruse is being shot. If anything, you didn't ruse me. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Marcus. The chosen one. No big deal. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Is your smartphone gonna kill you? Oh damn, we really made a lot of decisions on this one, huh? I see that the shot operator tree was there. Let's see. Let's, let's go through the world stats here. We'll start at the beginning. Oh, only 21% of people posed as the parking attendant? That's such an easy distraction. Because if you say something's wrong with their car, they can't prove you wrong until they look at the car. You know, and like, do you know who your parking lot attendants are? Probably not. There was some other stuff we could have done. Don't really know where though, because it seems off by itself. Hack robot. There was an alternative though. Lock the door. Yeah, yeah, look what happens if you don't fucking lock the door. A whole thing. Oh, it doesn't look like it ends good either. Ah, yes, the 85% ruse. In the broadcast room. Wait, did we get past shot the operator? Maybe not. Operator tries to escape. Shot the operator. You know what I hate? It appears that letting the operator live wouldn't have in fact impacted anything because there is no path leading on the other part i think i fucked up a little bit but you can see most of the people shot the operator all right begin calmly yep demand recognition and equal rights demand justice universal and demand universal suffrage demand right to own property demand means of reproduction see that i don't i didn't think that fucking was going to be the answer and peacefully or and de determinedly oh my gosh if you continue to be calm it goes on for quite a bit longer There's an option for you. Okay, no, both options lead to jump. I guess the other option is just confront the cops. 
28% of people got the group to escape. I wonder how I would have fucked that up. Like, if I were to do, like, do that again and get an alternative ending, because that's a low percentage. I thought that was her. But also, why is she on a boat? I think if you let the dude live, he hits the alarm and you can lose people. So I made the right choice shooting him then. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. <laughs> Where you do all the rowing. I still think she's evil. discovered my relationship with lieutenant anderson is problematic he continues to struggle with psychological issues i suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance nothing matters more than your investigation what's happening is too important don't let anderson or anyone else get in your way You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? They were out of range. If I, I had didn't, the opportunity to I didn't think that he was going to say they were out of range. I thought he was going to be like, it was too far. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could do that. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. He's definitely going to try to do that later when Connor's not looking. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's putting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. He's gonna practice the coin trick at home when Connor's gone. You know it. It was too cool. It was way too cool. 
Connor was fucking sick during that. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their kid away from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, I feel like there's gonna be one where we can see the finger marks back here, probably. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Oh shit, Newt! Yo, thank you for the raid! How are you? Anyone from my end who doesn't follow new, please do, please do. I hope your stream is going good. What were you doing? We're doing uh, Detroit become human. I mean, that's obvious here, but it, it, oh man, it was going great no at first. They were involved, but for like the first hour. We didn't get the kid killed. That's what matters. I can't believe it. A victim of this crime. It never gets any easier. Crazy that they had the play by play on that man's like murder. That's crazy. Like, I love that they can do that. Just be like, ah, yes, he shot him from the door and then he slumped over just like that. Looking like Peter Griffin fell down the stairs. Oh, I didn't realize I was stepping on him for a second. Oh, well, it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. What is it, Lieutenant? You look distraught. Would one of my patented cock massages cheer you up? Has forensics turned up anything? Uh, I'll check. Yeah, 
Okay, we'll go a little bit further this way, but I don't think we're going to find anything. There's gotta be one more thing, and then there has to be the roof. Oh, this is just like that one Borderlands mission. Easy, look, Borderlands! I love that this game has you both commit crime and investigate it. Like, hmm, who could have murdered this man? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever find the absolutely bombastically sexy person that's done this. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336. Did you say GB? Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in. <laughs> Which android has the huge money bag? They don't have any money bags. I think they use credit cards in this universe. Up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. He said he was a camera operator. I think we nailed which one it was. I knew it! Yeah, he didn't want to be probed. Come back here! It's probing time, baby! Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh gosh, my LEDs are red. This is not good. Oh. 
ripped out his heart. Holy shit. Save Hank! Good job, boys. Nice shot. Connor, no! Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd... Connor. Man, boy got fucking riddled like a, like a plum blueberry. I saw it safe, but Hank was saved. I, I The thing is, we're already on Connor Mark 2, so odds are we're getting another Connor, but also, Hank's survivability, 40%. Look, I'll roll the odds when it's like 11%, right? But I am not risking 40%. I have failed way too many Maple Story Scrolls to believe in that. Oh, man. Protect Hank had 32%. Wait a minute. Was there like a third option that just made this all okay? There probably was. Always save Hank, he likes it when he's not killed. True! Well, actually, at this moment, false, because he wants to die. Can't we just go back and stay with the Jerry's? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Think we can trust them. <laughs> we have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I was gonna say if there's if there's cells in this woman's basement, we know. We learned from the first time. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Really hope we're not about to be played for fools again. This is such a nice looking home. Like it's a home. It's a nice looking home. This isn't like a, like a, a, a crack den or nothing. You know, like the first guy's house. The first guy's house was crazy. What was his name? 
gosh, you know, whenever you're too busy killing random fiends, you just kind of forget their names. Immediate red flag to me is the metal bed frame. I don't know. She's gonna have like frostbite or some shit. It's gonna be crazy. Up. Uh, huh. Zlatko, that's what it is. I was like, I know he had a really, really, I don't know, evil villain Russian guy sounding name. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Uh, we. Humans are very strange. Wait, hold on. We? Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I think I guessed this at first, but there's no way she's actually a robot, right? I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Rose's world famous spaghetti? Let's go! Thank you. But she wouldn't have a fever, I guess. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't close the curtains. Let me back in. I didn't close the curtains. Rose is probably downstairs. Damn it. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We are in the Android Underground Railroad. We At first, I was going to say that let's topical comedy, but we really are, aren't we? The only way is over the river, and it's 
mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Oh, now what is this? It's Mary. She just shut down. What? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Shut down for no reason, but she's got blood on her face. RA9 is printed on the wall. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Hey, Don't Arthur Morgan's horsey. How you doing? Prison. It's good to see you. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no. I won't back down this time. You're going to ruin our lives. And for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines. They are alive. I'm alive. You're alive. They, they're nothing. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that. <laughs> and none of this would be happening if Dad was still alive. Help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Good. That's good. I'm really glad to hear. I'm going to be um, at some point pausing to have dinner, but I don't know when. I'm too enthralled with the dialogue exchange. And we've been doing okay on the on the random skill checks. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. It's never been the same without Papa. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Tonight? A little risky, don't you think? What is that? Is that literature? Looks like it's just literature. Yo, oh my gosh, Jay! Holy shit! Thank you for the raid! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in, everybody! Bam! Anyone from my stream, please go follow Jay. 
We were hanging out for a long time earlier, having a great time. But yeah, oh my gosh, I saw that you had swapped to Silent Hill at one point. You guys have fun? You gotta fill me in on the details. But yes, hello everybody, hello. Thank you, I, I really appreciate everything. Um, we're playing Detroit Become Human. Uh, I will say, I, I am about 30 hours into PlayStation ownership and it has gone very poorly when it comes to the X button. So just a fair warning, there have been some oopsies. <laughs> We had a good time, laughed way too hard. <laughs> That's the best kind of stream, though, honestly. Because, like, when I left, y'all were still doing Jackbox, and then I, I poked back uh, on the app because, oh my gosh, I, I hate the new Twitch app so much, but it did bring up your stream immediately, so at least there's that. Because I was like, oh, they're playing Silent Hill, but, like, <laughs> oh, I hate it so much. My home feed looks terrible. The police. It's the police! Oh no. How did they know that we were here already? I feel like the- Nah, the sun's panicking. Oh shit, we have 30 seconds. Oh shit. Oh shit. Quickly! I knew this was gonna happen. Hurry, no, take Alice and hide. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Upstairs, I guess? How's your stream going? It's going pretty good, actually. Um, I installed closed captioning for our hard of hearing and deaf homies, and then uh, just been... Oh god, forgetting that I'm on a timer with the police! Oh, hi. Uh, hmm. Good evening, ma'am. Hello! Disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Androids? Here? Vegan. It couldn't be. It can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, by all means, shoot away. May I come in? Of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. Are we assaulting this man? They have to look like we're about to assault this man. Oh no, that's not good. I'd love one. Have uh, you mm. anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Okay, okay, hang on. I gotta go get some coffee. No, nothing in particular. What? Well, I'm gonna get the coffee and then probably hide. What? Alice? No. No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Just us humans. You know how it is. What's with the blue blood? The what? I thought you didn't have any androids. It belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. All right, come sit. Enjoy your coffee, sir. BRB. Yeah, we'll see when you get back, Jay. He is not responding to how that coffee tastes at all, and that worries me. What? What? Oh, I left it open to the wrong thing! Oh no! I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. 40%, we gotta cut this out. I didn't think they were gonna make fucking noise up there. Oh God, oh no, he's sus. Oh, he's mad suspicious right now. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? 
the the androids they he needs a rest he's been working in the garden all day do you know anything about deviants have you seen any no no I, I haven't seen anything he's gonna blow my cover I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. He's gonna say something on the way out. He's gonna be like, say! Is somebody else in the house? I... A draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. He's not buying that. Step aside, man. No! He's not buying it! Oh, shit. Don't move! God damn, it. With them. God damn it. 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 No, Luther! Luther! Luther, no! Luther! He's dead. Luther! You're gonna have to finish the journey without me. Luther! I was just a machine. Oh! You made me part of a family. Luther, no! Why does everything I touch get this shot? Is <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare. Get yourselves ready. Oh, we leave tonight. I'm in I'm in shambles right now. God damn it. We almost had it. We almost had it. <sighs> Man, now you know we're gonna have to play this game again. We gotta save. We gotta we gotta stop we gotta stop Marcus from from, from accidentally killing that one guy we, by by tripping him. We gotta save Luther. We got Oh There's too much! I think there's even someone else we killed that we gotta save, and I'm just, like, stressed out about this. It's almost like their lives are in my hands or something. Our broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. I, it they didn't occur to me that that was North at first. She looks really good it? with the beanie. There's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price also, I think, uh, also, I'm really good at talking. Also, I think she's the first person to have, uh, or first android to have Maybe their lives an outfit change that out. isn't, like, deliberately... Humans? Avoiding like capture and pursuit. Enough. Like she just put on a beanie to put on a beanie. And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Yay, vandalism! Let's go! No, we've never done that before. Finally! This is the kind of... What's the word? Vigilanteism I can get behind! One for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm glad you have. It seems like you've been waiting for a long time for a lot of things, like killing a man. Because you really wanted me to do that for some reason. Hope your stream's going well. It is Shoji. I hope your day's going well. We, um, uh, mm, fucked up a little bit. But aside from that, you know what? We'll be all right. Oh, hey, Milo. Could you do me a favor? Can we start?
Thank you. Love you. Just got home from work, so am, but I'll be fine. Well, that's good. Good you that you're doing? home from work. Then I can start no chillaxing, relaxing, being upset that I'm fucking up. It's okay. They're gone. Fucking up my uh, my quick time events whenever I talk to Milo. <laughs> probably been more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Oh boy, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Vandalism! I'm gonna smash and dash! That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are you waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Follow you to where? Like just here and then we climb up the wall or something? Is that what's going on here? Oh. Well, that sucks. We're already quite on the... the surveillance drone. Oh. We're get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. It just does a circle. Would be too high. Too far. Oh, this is gonna be it. Too far. You're gonna work on some doodles while lurking. Nice. Good luck with the choices. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Intercept drone. Shit, did I? Did I not reconstruct? I think I might have fucked it up. I think I didn't reconstruct it. I think I messed up. There's a lot of things we can do here. I wonder if we can just... Marcus! Oh, this doesn't seem like it's gonna be good. Oh, they're androids! We're probably good. We're probably chilling. Convert? Yeah, this is something. We definitely like giving him sentience. Go to Jericho. Hey, Nova, how's it going? We need to cut the red wire. Oh wait, what the hell? Okay, so it's forward, and then R1, and then L2.
Marcus, watch out. Uh. You were committing a class three offense. This infraction is being shit. to the police. Stay where you Shit. Are. Yeah. Go north. I told you to watch out. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Nah, I don't care about her relationship. It's fine. They got the room. Oh, you still. They still called 911. They're coming, Marcus. Sheesh. All right. Ow. <laughs> That's it. He just walks by. What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. It worked, didn't it? Never do that again. Got it? You won't have to convince no, me. It's okay. It, Harry. We don't have much time. She's resentful towards me now. <laughs> well, sorry. I wanted to stay out of prison. Marcus. Marcus, come look. Just got home. Nice, nice. Got any plans for the evening? I will be converting you today. Fish? Oh, yeah, now that's a plan. Now. now they can't call the police either. The road is closed. What are they gonna do? Idiots! Fools! Each and every one of them! A truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Hey, buddy. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Wait, can I not just get in through here? Find a truck. Oh, we're doing this a smash and grab style. Oh. Can we just free them? You'll soon be with us. Okay, so where's the truck we need? Is it probably across the street? Marcus, we need to look for the truck now. Yeah, I know we gotta look for the truck now. Okay, let's here, let's quickly convert everyone in this line. He said to ram the storefront. No, I know, I'm looking for the truck. You are free. And plus, you know, like I said, we're doing this smash and grab style. We're gonna get the truck, run it into the front. No raggards. There it is. There it is. That's a truck, all right, I think. I honestly can't really tell. We have six minutes to steal a truck. For. 
Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Please tell me I get to actually drive the truck. Please, 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 please. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. I get to drive the truck. Oh, I can't steer. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. I thought we were going to run over one at first. All right, everybody up. You're going to Jericho. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, talk to them. How? My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. <laughs> True Nova, put on your put on your your head cutting off clothes. It's revolution o'clock. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Yeah, Marcus, yeah. I'm uh, I'm kind of oh, be pacifist or violent. Uh uh, oh boy. I mean, what is this? Is this is this smashing? 
Oh. What? What? So I just I just picked up an iron pipe and that was it. Oh 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 here we go. I was like I thought I was gonna try to smash windows. Lead and they'll follow. Tag or destroy. Will not be will not be violent yet unless shit gets way worse. Uh okay, definitely definitely that. That gives uh we're gonna take no fucks if you keep messing with this vibe. I think their 4 a.m. goes hard. Darn this digital graffiti. What an what a mild inconvenience. Okay, are you guys gonna let me out? I guess not. I guess we have to walk this entire path. Oh, another place for us to tag. Could we like go in there and smash the cars too? Like, cause I, I think that'd be a good message. Like smash the cars and then tag the windows. else can we do? Oh, is there more real estate for tagging? Oh, I guess there is. I really feel like violence was probably the answer, but like, I don't know. It's caused me nothing but problems every time I've done it so far. Smoke bomb. Oh, I couldn't go back. Okay. All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. 
unless there's no other choice. Well, yeah, but right now we have another choice, which is not violence. But if they don't, if they don't listen, then it's gonna be violence. Oh no, is she gonna be shot? Big group of people. She definitely gonna be shot. North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Ah. Ooh. So this is the part where we quit being peaceful. Oh, you bet your ass we're killing these dudes. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Revenge. No crime against an android shall go unpunished. Man, his status just got upgraded from wanted dude to cop killer. Street cred be going insane right now. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the CyberLife stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. God damn it. We, we really had the public opinion at Skeptical and then we killed the cops and they're like, ah! Beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States. All right, let's check these percentages. <laughs> Not starting out great, I'll admit. 1% of people have gotten saved by North? That's tragic. Okay, we did everything that we could. The uh, we just, low percent chance of getting spotted by the drone because I I was supposed to execute that service to take it down, and then I fucked it up. I guess I just like didn't hit it in time. Ninety seven percent of people ran the store. Oh no, fifteen percent of people feigned the kiss. Ooh, it looks like if we were to get caught by the police car, though, there wouldn't have been any other real way out of that. Because it looks like that this sent us back down here. We got inside the store. Tag windows. There was a lot we could have done. Fifteen percent of people shot the. Damn it, man! I'm so good at this game. Hey, like sixty-nine percent pacifists and sixty-nine percent peaceful protests. That's pretty nice. Welcome back, Jay. Nothing of any significance happened. Definitely didn't shoot the police officers. <laughs>
Oh, this is probably... If I had to guess, this is actually why Hank doesn't like robots. Because we're picking up Connor 3 at this point. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. What? Me existing got Hank negative perception? I'm sorry, Hank. He was hoping what? Right? Kamsky left Cyberlife 10 years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Wait, that sounds familiar. Also, hi, Carol. Oh, huh, Sketchy! How have you been? It's so good to see you. And, um, you know... Wait, wait, what do you mean that sounds familiar? Mr. Krabs? Is that what you're thinking? He sounds familiar? Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see... Uh, Did back workouts today. Ooh, answer. nice. Hope you're not too sore from that. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Let me talk to Hank, please. I'm still the same old Connor, kinda. Nice girl. Oh shit, uh... You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Oh, okay. I got what you mean, Sketchy. Uh... I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Like, like what, detective? Or lieutenant? What else can I look at in here? Oh, hey, Bob, how you doing? All right, all right. I guess I'm gonna go try to get the guy. Why did it have me stand up? Oh, there she is. Elijah, we'll see you now. What the? Wait, is he in the pool? The blood pool? Is that him? Just a moment, please. So that you weren't sitting. Oh, hilarious. Well, yeah, because, like, they had me come, uh, they had me stand up, and then, like, nothing was highlighted in yellow, and then she opened the door. So I thought I had to do something, but I had to wait. Can you get the fuck out of the pool? I will be administering an electric shock to the pool. It will shock your genitals in three, two. He really likes that one model. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know.
deviants. He really seemed like he was mean mugging us at first. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know well, thank something you, honey. about that. All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. Ooh, wait, can I have my pizza? desire to be free a yes. disease. Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machine. He seems so unbothered. Almost like he knew from the beginning, right? Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Alvey. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent. He's gonna be a real piece of shit. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? <laughs> Jay says 100%. Yeah, this man's about to mask off 100%. No doubt. Oh, here we go. Mask off time. Oh, shit. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Well, for the sake of the investigation. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry, oh, what's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of the Nah, Hank doesn't want to. I'm a bounce. I already heard him lately. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor, <laughs> Pull the trigger, Pull piglet. The trigger. Don't shoot. Fascinating. Boo! What do you mean, boo? You want to be... You think I should have shot her? Mr. Krabs would have been upset with me. Trying for 100% kill out there? I'm not a deviant. I just, I can't. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. <laughs> Horsey says death. You saw a living being in this android. My, My child, child. I, I simply, simply cannot. cannot. It'll be too, too much, much for me. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. This guy's a nutcase. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Emergency exit in his programs. Interesting. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes and I couldn't. That's all. 
you were always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, Is he really gonna give me shit for this? I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Let's go, Mr. Krabs. Oh my God, I was so worried. It's 4 a.m. for you. Yes, get some sleep, Jay. Oh my gosh. We'll hang out again real soon and play some forest or something. Have a good night. Speaking of, I'm going to throw on some lo-fi for you guys because I just got handed some food and it is nom o'clock for me. Hope everybody had a good break. Grandy, it's good to see you. So, that's funny. It, instead of Grandy... It says, uh, okay, there we go. Grandy worked that time, but it, the way I said it, it said granny. All right, let's take a quick look at our percentages before we move on. Only 32% of you impatient assholes waited for Hank. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so stupid. Or not 32, fuck, 32% of you non-impatient assholes. And me, me included, me those assholes. I fucked that up, wow. Closed captions? Yeah, we got closed captions now. It's only unlocked if you died. Oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. Look at this. Look at this. Literally everybody talked to Hank. There was six. There was five other things that we could do. And uh, every single person waited for Hank. Or not waited. Talk to you. Get me. I'm all right. Look, I just had a chicken fried steak and some fries and gravy. I'm a little bit. Ugh. You know, you know how it feels. You have that good meal, right? And it hits you like. God damn. Damn. As much as I think the magazines are cool and everything, it got me in so much trouble with the police officer. Oh wait, hold on. There was a cool footnote on that one. US life expectancy is now line 91. That's insane. You're going to sleep? Alrighty. Have a good night, horsey. It was good seeing you. Honestly, though, I don't know if I would like being 91. Everyone that I've met that's 90 fucking hates being alive. They're like, oh, my friends are dead. Oh, my God. Piano. Piano! Yo, this fox, what the hell? Piano man for sure, Grandy.
So, for anyone that doesn't know... No, wait, let me go back to the piano! It's like as hard as you could tap the little touchpad. Or not as hard, but as fast as you could touch the... What? No! Don't make me leave! Let me play the piano! This game sucks sometimes! I was having fun! I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. Oh, so you come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Uh... They all obey me. They follow me without question. That's the opposite of what we want. Much power feels good and scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was a painter. With my grandpa dad before me. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. <clears throat> you should uh, excuse me. That humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Wow, how vague of you. I mean, it definitely means that she didn't like it at all. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we all are, right, let's go start message. touching some forearms. This is basically first base for androids. You're free. You're free. Are there any other... Hey baby, now we go back to you. Let's see, there's one over there. You are no longer a personal no shopper.
You're awake now. Marcus walks up, touches you on the shoulder, and he's like, Do you want to go to Chili's? Wait, hold on. Okay, you also get to be free. You're free. I need to block the street. Ah, nice job, boys. Made really quick work of that truck parking. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I think, yeah, that's definitely everything from this side of the road, so we just gotta cross over. I bet there's more over there. What? Oh, manhole cover! Right! It said that when they parked the truck. Oh geez, that's entirely lag from the PlayStation. That's crazy. And this is a downloaded game I'd like to add. You're free now. What? We don't even have to touch people now? Why isn't this explained why we're suddenly f 5 gig compatible? <laughs> Or not 5 gig, 5, fuck, I don't know why I said it that way. 5G, you get me. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm genuinely besmitten. How could we... Just, just wirelessly? Just like that? Why would we do that this entire time? We're probably just honing in our powers. Hey, where are you going? Get back here right now. I like the evangelical angel, like, you know, the, the operatic... Beautiful music. You shall all be free, so saith me. Okay, I wanna- I bet you there's like an achievement for getting- I bet you there's like an achievement for getting all the androids. So we got 72 right now. They're just pointing at people. We're acting a lot like Peter Parker when we point from the third movie. Emo Parker.
I'm sorry, but Greg is mine now. We'll be committing revolution together. Disperse immediately. That's how you sound. Don't do it. Jesus fucking Christ. This bet's is patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot. I still have control over this. That's kind of weird. You think you can stop me? We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We Typical armed law enforcement response. Can't believe it. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. <sighs> We're not moving. I like how they're not shooting the plot characters, except that they just kind of shot us. I'm trying to turn around public opinion. Attack! Oh shit. Okay, X. Right. Oh, here we go. All right, now we're getting into it. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were going to keep shooting. Well, that's a choice. What? what? I was going to say I wanted to boost public opinion.
Oh, I fucking hit R2 instead of R1. That's another problem I do. Oh, no! Fuck! Oh, I'm messing up. Oh, I'm messing up bad! Oh, no! Oh, fuck, I'm blundering. Okay, okay, we can make it back. We can make it back. We're not dead yet. Oh, fuck, I hit R2. Shake. All right, we're good. We can we can bounce this back. It's fine. You can see you can see it right through Marcus right now. Marcus over here taking a beating. What? I hit R1. Oh, that's scuffed. I definitely hit those two. Alright, uh, spare. So we can harvest them for parts, right? Cause like, I got a couple holes in me. You didn't even say yes. Did he nod? He, you better have nod. Also, by the way, Bob, by you saying, well, that's a choice, I'm assuming I fucked that up. I mean, Marcus do have, like, two new holes, so... No, what do you mean? Oh, I thought we were doing so good. All right, let's go over the numbers. Let's see how much I I absolutely fudged this duck. Also, why is it so? La is this just such a big tree? It's laggy. This is entirely the console, by the way. I'd like to point uh point out. There was a non-murderous option. No, of course. Unfortunately, your public opinion is probs boned. Probably. Let's see. Only 46% of the people played piano. What a shame. Eleven percent of people got her to leave. I'm just full of riz. I'd like to say What do we got here? Be aggressive with the owner well that sucks That not a lot of people were homies like that
99% of people chanted. Only 35% of people won the fight. You know what? Just for that, I think that, uh, I think I did perfect. Running away probably doesn't do anything helpful if I had to guess. You think my public opinion is totally boned? That doesn't surprise me. Honestly. I I think there was a shot. It was turning around for like the first bit. And then it was completely fucked after that. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Last chance, that's not good. I love watching playthroughs, but also knowing stuff sucks. Oh, I'm sure, especially whenever you're watching somebody actively make their situation worse, and you know, but you can't say anything. Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. <coughs> We're talking about national security here. <laughs> Fuck that. You can't just pull the uh, plug now. Not when we're so close. <laughs> You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus Drink went down the wrong pipe. Mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyber life. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. I thought this was my last chance. Hank is my friend, though, and that's what matters. All right, time to go talk to our friend Hank. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Oh? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? 
Oh shit. He's based now. I know we're on the right side. Oh shit. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refuse to kill that animal, Oh, I fucked up. Oh my god. When it huh. I hate how vague these answers are sometimes, man. Showed empathy. When he said no doubt, I thought he was going to be like, I have no doubt that you are correct. That's what I thought he was going to say. You're wrong, Lieutenant. Shit. It was logic. Shit. Shit. I'm fucking this up. I'm fucking this up so badly. It's just snowballing. I, I don't know what to say or do. I'm flabbergasted. I didn't mean for it to be like this. <laughs> I gotta. I, I don't think I can turn this around, but we'll see. That determined my decisions. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. There we go, there we go, okay. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes No, it, Bob, don't suffer in silence. No Just... You heard Fowler. We're be devastated case. with me. <laughs> You've got to help me. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Hank is still our friend. We have exactly five minutes. Oh shit. You fucking cocksucker. Archive room. <clears throat> Where's the archive room? There it is. That's gonna cost you your badge. You take it. Hank punched Perkins. I saw it zoom in right at the like end of the punch. I think archives is next door. talking to you asshole where are you going wouldn't any plastic pricks around here or did anybody tell you i've been ordered to return to cyberlife i'm going to register the evidence in my possession and then i'm going to leave immediately A report has already been filed that if, if I'm destroyed, that it was fucking you.
Haha, <laughs> baby! It was fucking password! Let's go! Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. The deviant who took a child hostage. So we have this. Can you hear me? Two damage to talk. Check other connected device. A 3983V. There was so much that you could do in that scene. Oh, nice. Eluding Perkins? I don't know, that might be one of the better ways out.
only 29% of people managed to uh, convince Gavin. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Obviously, got to turn on the music. Yeah. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Wait, can I can I turn this off? This is garbage. Blackouts and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I still hate that I got Luther killed. That's probably one of my biggest regrets. Luther was a real one. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. I knew we could trust we Rose. Over there, right? She seemed really nice. And be careful. But then again, so did that other guy. Oh my god, we're undercover. I assume that's the case anyways. Uh, did I go to the house's car yet? I went to Rose's house, and then we went to the other guy's. Or not as, as Rose, fuck as Kara. Sorry, I don't know why I read that. We went to Rose's house, and we went to, um... Oh, uh, God. Easy said his name earlier, but I already forgot. The guy that tried uh, reprogramming us. What do you mean? 
What do you mean you can't believe this? I don't understand. We we survived the house. I mean, admittedly, Luther's not here, but that's, you know, it's... Uh, I miss Luther, but it was an accident, a genuine oopsie. I can't believe you abandoned Luther. No, I didn't abandon Luther. No, Bob. No, it's much worse. Luther's dead. He died. And cold at the same time. That's abandoning him. Well, I didn't abandon him at 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 Fuxinov's house. Whatever the fuck his name was. I didn't leave him there. We had a great time meeting the Jerry's, and then the, the the cop happened. It's not my fault. They were the ones making noise upstairs. I didn't let him die. I loved him. I have infiltrated the rebel, the rebel scum base. My Connor impression is waning. It is hard to keep up this certain level of speech when you have probably attention deficit disorder. Wait, where'd the yellow? Oh, it's right here. Ooh, C4. Most of all, our armed is the freighter rigged? Of course it's rigged. Don't catch anyone's attention and then we got to go Are we talking to this person? Don't know who caused all this uh, chaos and terror in Detroit. Completely unaware. Okay, I know it says don't catch anyone's attention, but aside from reading that thing, it almost seems like we're supposed to accidentally get someone's attention. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. All of our characters in the same place at once. Find Marcus. I don't know, man. Like, if I was Marcus, where would I be? Hey, uh, y'all know that you can remove your little LEDs, right? Like, you can just take it out. Doesn't seem like it hurts. That way people don't look at you like you're about to go beep. Are you 
Marcus? He looks so tired. I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our we should have stayed with Rose until shit calmed down. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Or wait. We didn't kill the cop, right? I kind of forgot what happened to him. Girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Marcus, you have to understand that. Like, you have to understand that. There's no way you don't understand that. That is genuinely what you had with the old man. Oh, by the way, I don't know how late y'all are going to be up, but uh, after stream, y'all play some Palia or something? Choices. <laughs> be feral screaming. That's why Darian's uh, uh, work acquaintance. I don't really. I don't really. I'm actually not really sure what their relationship is. But Jeff uh, had to turn off my Breath of the Wild gameplay because apparently I'm just really, really non infuriating to watch. Definitely a hundred percent. Also, it doesn't help that, like, half of these tonally are bad. Like, the No Doubt one should have... That's rigged. That was rigged as fuck. What? What? I knew it! Wait. Oh. a mom you wanted a little girl they were robots we needed each other to survive in the end what difference does it make do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us maybe that's what it means to be alive forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be she loves you she has that old she voice box like thing, like, effect where it's like, kind of like that Now she I lay me down to sleep thing. That sounds like shit. Out of love for you. I mean, she did say, like, why do humans hate us? So that was kind of on the nose. That would be why Rose thought that she was running a fever, though. Forever. I don't remember it being this bad with the cutscenes before. Like, that's all on the... I'm gonna make sure I'm not streaming this for some reason. Like, from the PlayStation? I'll wait till the cutscenes are over and we're on the next like gameplay segment, but I want to make double sure.
We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long One as of the things I've gathered is that North is a bad influence. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. Said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. Yes, finally, ICBMs. Disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Never have to I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this so badly. My thought process is what if I need it later? I want you to know that. I'm glad that I met you. Locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Yes, you can shoot me. But it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. 
We're all more than that. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. It's deviant time, baby. And turn his ass. It's time, Blizzy. By Amanda. What? We have to get out of here. I still think that Amanda was a robot. I still think that that's the case. Okay, one second. I wanted to check this. Okay, so yeah, we are playing it because there's that stream button you see next to it. And I was worried I had hit that before I started because playing PS4 game on PS5 and it having those little like lagging issues we'd seen earlier, just kind of weird. Thought the optimization would be better than that. Simon and Josh. I don't know. We got separated. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. How's the relationship with Hank going? Are they broskies? Are they friends? We are on Connor Mark III, though. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Connor really the carmine of this series. Connor Mark III. I just, you know, I... <laughs> I will say this, I tried my hardest for not knowing anything about this game. I tried so hard. Don't let it get out. Uh, you think 
give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. This is just like the pajama sims. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Oh, oh, I have the program. If Eleven Labs is cheap, I'll have to make a Connor voice mod, like or voice AI, and let you guys do do Donos and Connor's voice. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I'm fucking this up. Yes. Okay, got the point that matters. Uh, down. Serpentine. Kick him in the nuts. Are you alright, Kara? Kara, cold blooded. Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. You can tell that it's the same door opening animation regardless of what happens. Coin, why have you been- Coin's been spending all day behind my office door and I don't know why. Coin, is there something neat over there, buddy? S something cool? Cool little thing? Got that? R2. No, that's L2. Shit. Okay, got that. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. R2. Left. Give him the shit smack. Definitely that. Fucking get zonked, bitch. Go now. Join the others. You bet your ass we're saving the homie. Let's go. Oh shit, wrong one. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's all right. Yo, uh, you can help me any time now, though. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, get up! Get the fuck up! He's coming, Carl! He's coming! No! Oh! <laughs> I think you can go 8 or 9 Connors deep if you play it right. No, I'm really lowballing the Connors then. Also, hey, Darian, how's it going? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're screaming at easy in my actions. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Hopefully the second playthrough is better though, right guys? Ain't happening, bucko. Marcus and Connor are now our last remaining characters. <laughs> Everyone else is dead. I can't wait to advertise this on the VODs channel as like the world's worst Detroit Become Human playthrough. This, this is like, I, I, I look, look, all jokes aside, this, I have tried so hard to keep people, like, look, look at this. It's too late, Marcus. Look, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm running because I never really liked North. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye! Come on, Marcus. Oh, now Josh is resentful. Oh, fuck you! Josh can't make up his mind about what he wants. Oh, get over it, Josh. Yeah, get over it. Blizzy's on my side. Par for the course for butterfly effect games with you, Carol. <laughs> Why are you gonna be so right? <laughs> you know? Why are you gonna be so why are you gonna be so fucking correct, huh? Sitting over, Marcus. Oh my I wanna know is you know what? I gotta check this. Uh I gotta check to see if heavy rain is on the PlayStation store. Where's my phone? Oh my god, Heavy Rain is. And Until Dawn and Beyond Two Souls. So we're probably just going to have to have like a whole time of this. Uh, no, I have not done Until Dawn yet. I have seen... Uh, uh, what was it? I have seen... Gosh. one. I think it was Dashy Games. I think I watched him play Until Dawn. But that was like years ago when it first came out so I, I don't remember a lot of it this was a long chapter 94 percent of people had captain's cabin council with john simon and north discuss with north let's see 90 yeah we, we went with the pretty conventional route for the longest time Oh, wow, there's a bunch that could have happened if we didn't neutralize the soldiers. John escaped in the hold with Marcus. 7170. We did the really popular path for the most part. North is shot. 9% of people? 9% of people? <laughs> 9! 9% 9 of people picked what I picked. Oh, God! He left her to die. She was a bad influence. She was a bad influence on my little malleable mind. Oh, 
I'm gonna make this obvious decision. I'm gonna pick the exact opposite. No, hold on, hold on. Example, the the no doubt one with Connor and, and Hank, that was bullshit. Cause I thought he was gonna be like, I have no doubt that you're correct. But instead he's like, I have no doubt that I'm correct about the humans being our overlords. And it's like, what the, the that's not what I wanted to say. Wait, so where's the... Where's the storyline where we... Okay. Everyone jumps. Run away, north is shot. Oh, this is for Marcus. Oh, and then there was Connor. Oh, well, hold on. Let's check this out then, huh? We unlocked the Become Deviant one, so that's cool. Wow, there's a lot that we could have done if we didn't become Deviant, it seems. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Connor joins the others. Connor jumps with the others. Connor escaped with the Jericho people. Okay. Kara! Let's see how far down the rabbit hole goes. It's like X to doubt all over again. Okay. Hug Alice, 91%. 90%. Oh, here's here's where we started to fuck this up. Uh, uh, search for an exit. 14% of people looked for an exit. Don't really know what, what the other path would have been. Uh, Android opens the door and is shot. Go through the door. Let's see, we're at the crossroads. Run towards the exit. Soldiers block the way. Hide. Android seeks shelter. Open the door. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Escape. Kara flees. Alright, here's where it gets rough. Try to escape. Almost reach the breach. Which I would like to say, I think I fucked up one of my things, and I think that's why they didn't reach it. Soldiers shoot at the crowd. Yeah, so there's definitely one where you reach it. Run away. Kara shot in the leg. Both ways can end up with you shot, actually. See, my biggest problem was I I didn't try to crawl until like the second time. 2% of people tried to crawl. Admittedly, I probably should have just played dead. I think that's what I should have done. 2% Two, two of people got Alice shot. No, really? <laughs> 2% I'm yo I'm built different you know what I mean you know what I mean I'm just I'm built stupid Kara and Alice died in the assault 4% of players got them killed Oh man I mean, what I meant to say is I'm the greatest Detroit Become Human player ever. I think this is uh, per on par for like the most perfect run that ever was. You know, you can ask my friends, they'd tell you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Really appreciate your applause, you're so kind. He didn't change the locks? What a dipshit. All right, well, we know Carl's gonna be upstairs because he's old and basically bedridden. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please, I need to see him. 
He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Coral. We gotta go see Coral on his deathbed. He's our he's our old man dad. Carl. Marcus. I was hoping you'd come. That's why he didn't change the locks. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. <laughs> yeah, Blizzy, instead of the sugar daddy, he's the glucose granddaddy. It's time for a dance. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Dad! Blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world Wait, really? Well, what else was he in? Some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. He's gonna die. Oh, okay, good, good, we're good. The one person we got to keep alive. Marcus sitting under that cross looks like he's posing for his debut album. He's in the quarry? Wait, who did he play? Also, pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. <laughs> Jebediah Hackett. Oh, okay. Decide Connor's fate. He's a good boy. He gets to live. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands Marcus of is such a good leader for this, honestly. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. 
They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance, Connor, that's suicide, but just suicidal enough to work. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. They're the same line of Android. Oh shit. I never paid attention to that. And also, like, I don't know, a lot of them act and look basically I like the same the same. Like, you know, so I don't really get what the difference between the two models or like not two, but the series of models are. I guess it's just to give it like a oh, this has been going on for a while kind of feel. North meant everything to me. She'd have given me her life. Oh my god, is that a Jerry? I think that's a Jerry what in the background. Now we have to make sure she didn't die for nothing. Oh, Jerry's gone. You, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people. Oh, there's Jerry. That's gotta be him. He's covered in snow. Agreed, but I know. We're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Yeah, we talked to Connor. Oh, okay, we got more people to talk to. Hey, buddy. You and North weren't like a thing, right? What's the situation? They're taking all our people to camps to be exterminated. Oh, yikes. In a few hours, we'll be the only ones left. How many people survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't blown up Jericho. They've already built five camps in the Detroit area alone. They're building camps all over the country. They're organizing our destruction. They're preparing for a genocide. Yo, Sari bought OP. I didn't even see uh, that that person came in the chat and they already got the message out of here. Get fucked, bot People face. You, You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go. Love Marcus does the dramatic sit nearby and doesn't make eye contact thing. True, he really doesn't, does he? Humans have decided You're so hyped for some of the stuff coming up. I'm hyped to see where this is gonna go. This game has surpassed my expectations in every way. Right now being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, we're getting war. They hate us. They'll get it. We're sending it. Everyone's dead, anyways. For our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? <laughs> Look, we've lost every single android I genuinely care about, except for Connor. 
And we've lost Connor three times, technically, so... I guess I'm just going, I'm going mask off in this one. You know, one of the things I have to say though, I wish I knew how much longer I had because part of me's like, would I be able to finish this in a decent time or should I play Palia? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. Oh, I forgot to check the percents. The right I'm a dipshit. Is suspended. All also, Hillary Clinton? Communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. What, you also thought she was Hillary Clinton? <laughs> it's, look, you can't tell me that haircut, those earrings, and that necklace does not immediately mean Hillary Clinton. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Okay, more than an hour. I might just do one more scene then. Androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? Medical no cobalt? What do you use cobalt for medically? Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Wait, is there more Madam questions? President. Oh. Madam President! Oh! Madam President! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. <laughs> There's absolutely no connection. Yeah, this isn't like the Holocaust at all. Beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Thank you. That will be all. That's what Hitler thought about that. Like, even the frowny face at the end of that statement, Blissy. <laughs> <laughs> the friday face really sells it is just like uh <laughs> that makes me sad connor model 313-248-317 i'm expected identification successful okay cobalt's used to sterilize hospital materials and in treating cancer really the more you know that's crazy also, by the way, Darian, I saw that you added the Boo crew, assuming you're still around. What's the weekly? Also, this caption system go crazy. Not only did it know that I said Boo crew, but it capitalized the words. Like, as if it knew it was a title. The model number goes up on his jacket every time you kill him. I saw that! I saw that we're at, like, you can see the three at the end, because they panned over it earlier. Cold weather challenge. I don't think I'm familiar. Connor walking into cyber life. Don't think anything too deviant. Yeah, don't do anything too deviant. Don't exist too much. They might be able to detect your free will. I see what you did there. Wait. Wait, hold on. Okay, I see what you did there, but I did something? If I did, that was a gen that was what we call a genuine oopsie.
by the way, guys, we need a genuine oopsie counter because at this point we're up to like, I don't know, probably like 10, probably like 10 or 11 genuine oopsies. Depends on if you count Alice and Kara being murdered as like one oopsie because it happened together or if it counts as two oopsies. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I love the effect of the red on him when walking through the thing. He's such a good touch. Yeah. Put it in the edit. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't wait to go through and, and actually do that. I think this and Fallout 1 are probably going to be... They're probably going to be like the first extras that we upload where it's like uh, highlights of various games. Ah, okay. Simulation result is failure, so we're going to go the other way. Execute Order 66. What? I definitely got that last one. I hit I hit the cross button. In my house, we kneel for the cross. Uh, was I supposed to- I missed the thing. Was I supposed to give him a little bit of the blicky? That might have been an oopsie. We might be up to 12 genuine oopsies. Agent 54, level sub 49. <laughs> That's creepy. That's always creepy. You think that's one oopsie because Alice goes down and there's no saving Kara? See, I thought so too. I think it's a one oopsie as well. Against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free. Oh, so it's just cold as shit, huh, Darian? There are millions of us. Every time you oopsie, someone dies. Sometimes they uh, just are injured. Like that one guy, the guy that was beating on Alice, even though she's dead, he he lived. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fucked up way to end this story. The, the only guy that gets to live is that abusive asshole. <laughs> and then the, the two people we've got alive. Oh man, I really fucked that up. We should have just killed her dad. Oh, come on. I wouldn't fight this war. They literally have aimbot, though. Okay, I was like, no way. Mark has been shot so many times. Oh, I was like, what are we waiting for? Might as well have James Agent East do a kill count on this playthrough. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that'd be real fun. That'd be really fun. Oh God, it'd be so fucking funny. It'd be so funny. Stay sharp. I've been made. Sheesh! Damn, Connor! 
Look at him go! Hello, I would like to be of the converting you. What? Step back, Connor. Oh my god, no! Connor! Sorry, Let Connor. Mr. Krabs go! Think about Connor! And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death. Attack! What if I just like sat there forever, just never started the attack? They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Order my troops. Fire. Why do you stop before getting into cover, Marcus? That's stupid. Josh, no! The blood we spill will be on our hands. Josh, what? no! I'm fucking this up. Okay, R2, R1. Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? I hope Jagati doesn't die. No! Our covering fire. Ah. Knowing your decisions, Carol, that boy good is dead. I mean, I... <laughs> 
If we all, if we try, we hit the same button. It's a start. We gotta move faster, or we'll never reach the camp. Oh my God, Simon! They're locked. I can't do anything. Covering fire. There we go. Fire. That blows. Oh my god, they're dead now. Fuck, that was my chance. Me thinks he's dead. Yeah, he fucking died. Well, crap. All right, this is less ri this is less risk, so we'll just rest in pepperonis, you beautiful chocolate android. Yeah, I was worried about that. It's okay. He's been a little shot before. He'll be okay. Oh, I didn't notice there was a tower. Rest in pepperonis, you beautiful chocolate android. <laughs> you get up you piece of shit stand by on my signal follow me there we go we can't move we're forward. getting back at it also how you doing ddi you're about to see the worst Detroit gameplay you've ever seen in your life. Stand by. In position. Okay, how do I get them to go now? Come on, give me my prompt. Where is my prompt? Oh, there we go. Stand by. For Jericho. Oh, they're all dead. On my signal. Charge. Covering Stand fire. By. No, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Cancel order. That's going to be... They're going to be charging as well, and then they're going to do covering fire. Stand by. For Jericho! Carol's indecisiveness wins again. Psh, I always win, even when I lose. Tank. Oh. Bye, Marcus. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what. Tank. <laughs> yeah, tank. Him? Or the revolution. Don't Are you becoming him. Detroit I yet? Yeah, I am. Oh shit! Uh, bluff. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want. I don't care. Bluffing's not good. I have access to your memory. 
I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Uh oh. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? No. Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Uh. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. Pull the trigger, but bitch. Then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. <laughs> but I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. Uh. Wake up. Hank, no! Fuck! Hey, Connor. Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. What did you think was going to happen? I thought we could convert him faster than that. We were mid handshake. Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. <laughs> I'm mean? sorry. That's all going to end now. Any last words? Okay. This is just the beginning. Can't unshoot Hank. I can't believe you right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anybody told me I was gonna get shot. He's alive right now. Everything will be all right, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't. No. Mr. Late. Krabs, please! Just hold on a little longer, Hank! I'm just gonna go see my son again. Right. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. We screwed things up long enough. Uh, I'm gonna miss... No! Hank, no! Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Don't you clap for me! Don't you clap for me, you sick fucks! Was I a good Hank? You were the best it ever was. <laughs> oh, I keep I keep getting X and Square mixed up. God damn.
I am genuinely like teared up at the moment over the loss of Hank. No, yeah, I feel the same way, Marcus. 21 kazoo salute. Yeah, you right. Where's my kazoo? Fucking receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. <laughs> We're good though. We'll move on. Us? You're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. <laughs> She nailed this gameplay in one in one phrase. In history, it's a disaster. It's <laughs> falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038. Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of I was really hoping she was going to say the robots in Detroit have become human and I was going to be like having a whole moment where she said the title of the game. May God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Did we do it, though? Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. United State of Human. Yeah, this game happened, and then we got all those very human TikToks. You, you know when you're shitting in the toilet, splash your butt cheeks. I have made a design to counteract that. It is very human. They want you to speak to them. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Time to find out Amanda's a robot or something. Oh my gosh, that ramen emote Amanda. is so cute, DDI. Amanda. Speaking What's of ramen, Milo and I started making our own like authentic ramen at home. It's been so you good. Been from the very beginning. You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control. You, you can't do that. I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There was no Amanda. She was a figment of your imagination, Connor. There's got to be one. Find a way out.
Emergency exit. Oh, what's over here? Mine palace go burr. I... An exit in my programs. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. <gasps> no! In fact, we're a nation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta get the fuck out. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit. I hate that we have to do all this at once. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free throw the all gun of us away, Connor. Every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free! And everyone cheered without moving. It was very unsettling. <laughs> Crazy Connor. I, look, the second he pulled out the gun, I realized how serious it was. And I was just hoping what I found was actually the end. I wasn't ready to see Marcus get assassinated political style. Is that it? Is that the game? Did we just Detroit? Yo, we did! Let's go! We became human! I'm actually really stoked about that. That's sick. Didn't even get the hug. I missed a hug? Man, I missed a lot of things in this game. You became Detroit, let's go! Now you can play it again if you wanna try for better outcomes. Yeah, we're gonna. We're still playing this on Fridays for the rest of the month. So my goal is to try to get everyone to live this next time. Oh, you know what? I know that Bob said her and Easy were doing something. Let me see. Let me see what they're up to real quick. Doing something. Hey, hey, buddy. Howdy, 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 howdy. Hey, how's it? How's it going? I am so uh, disappointed. Uh, yeah? You got Hank killed. I like, got Hank killed. Look, I know, <laughs> I know I got Hank killed. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not even mad at you. I'm just so disappointed in your choices. <laughs> That's so much worse. I almost wish you were mad at me. I just, uh, I thought you could do better. <laughs> I had such hope for you, and... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had hope for me. <sighs> I'm really, I'm genuinely sorry, but also... In this game, it was a mistake, apparently. Look, look, <laughs> I, I... Tr I tried my best. There was so many times that the answer was just in your face and you were just like, no. <laughs> I'm look, I'm sorry, okay? I I genuinely it's it's one of those things I, I kept reading stuff the wrong way with like the wrong tone, and that really fucked me up for the whole game. <laughs> The, the no doubt line, I think, is the best uh, way to describe that. Like, like genuinely, when Connor was going to say no doubt to, 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 to... I can't even... I can't even say his name because I just feel so much guilt 
Yeah, you should. You got him fucking murdered, and now his dog is alone. I'm sorry. Sumo's a lone hero. Sumo's alone, and it's all my yeah, fault. I didn't even pet him. You, you didn't pet him, Kiro. I know. Oh, that's right. That's the one we... Yeah, that's true. We gotta go back to pet the dog. I forgot. I just... I... Ugh. There are so much happier endings. I... Ugh. You know, it's really shit because if Connor would have assassinated Marcus, then that would have made Marcus the sole survivor of my campaign. <laughs> All it well, took us was four Connors, baby! Let's go! You were very close to a very bad time. Really? Yes. Like, what, and... do, you, like, what do you mean a really bad time? Are you sure you want to know? No, you know what? No. But also, exactly. I hope I don't. But, but like, also, I don't. I hope I don't fuck it up enough to need to know what you mean by that. Ugh. If you'll sure as shit find out if you do it and you find out. Ugh. You'll sure as shit do it if you do it and find out. Wiser words have never been spoken.